For analysis of the joint statements by the leaders of Ukraine and Germany, let's now talk to Willy Wimmer, the former state secretary of the Minister of Defense of Germany. Thank you so much, Mr. Wimmer, for joining us uh, to discuss this in our theater national. Well, uh, as we heard, Angela Merkel stressed the importance of decentralization and uh, ceasefire. Uh, do you think she has enough influence uh, over Petro Poroshenko to actually convince him to take those steps? I hope that uh, she has enough influence and when she realizes uh, how the German uh, people think about the events in the Ukraine, she must be very realistic about it. People here in Germany are fed up with NATO lies and they are fed up with uh, wars organized by the United States here and there and everywhere. And therefore, I think it is uh, totally necessary to provide President Poroshenko with a window of reality. Uh, we are not interested in uh, having the ongoing conflict in the eastern part of the Ukraine, and we should do the utmost to find a peaceful solution. And therefore, I think most people here agree to the remarks of Angela Merkel that uh, weapons should be silent in the Ukraine. Well, also, Petro Poroshenko says that Angela Merkel promised uh, to provide 500 million euros for restoration of eastern Ukraine, given the uh, economic woes and the dire strait uh, the situation, uh, the, you know, the region is in. Uh, but can we be sure that this uh, aid will reach the troubled regions? I think it is necessary because otherwise the German taxpayer uh, will become angry. And uh, the German tax taxpayer is not willing to spend money here or there for people who uh, go on with fighting. Well, uh, also, uh, Merkel has uh, accused Russia of sending weapons across uh, the border, and something that Western officials uh, have been saying for quite a while, but um, nobody has produced any proof yet. Why is that? Because, as I mentioned earlier, the German population, and it's the same with all the other Europeans, they are fed up with NATO lies, and therefore it is necessary to find constructive ways and means to uh, have talks with the Kiev government and also to have a successful meeting between President Putin and President Poroshenko next week in Minsk. Now, uh, you, you know, uh, it, it seems like uh, the Western side has its rhetoric and keeps uh, going with it without providing any uh, substantial uh, information to back it up with. For example, a recent Twitter post uh, with a random photograph of a Russian tank, uh, and that was already enough to set off uh, the NATO-level accusations of Russia staging a military invasion. So uh, what do you personally think about the situation? Oh, you already uh, explained some of the position there, but I mean, personally, what, what is your take on this? We never made such an experience uh, of our own mass media and uh, when it comes to our own uh, governments that we have so much propaganda um, in uh, our relationship with our neighbors. And therefore, this has to be stopped. And the most uh, critical man with regard to this is the uh, NATO Secretary General. And uh, I think we are all happy when he leaves office. Uh now, unlike the U.S. officials, uh, Chancellor Merkel uh, early agreed that uh, the Russian uh, convoy's mission of delivering humanitarian aid to Ukraine uh, is of utmost importance. Does that mean that she has a more uh, somewhat moderate uh, stand on the issue, unlike her um, American counterpart? She expresses what uh, the German population think. Uh, what we heard about the last weeks was the... Um, Bombs are falling, artillery is firing, and uh, missiles are directed to the civil population. And therefore, for the first time since weeks, if not to say months, we saw a constructive uh, approach to the situation in the eastern part of the Ukraine. That was the Russian aid convoy. And suddenly, the weapons were silent. We heard no firing, we heard no missiles, we heard no artillery, 
And therefore, I think the approach of Angela Merkel to the situation in the eastern part of the Ukraine fits completely into the sentiments of the German population. Right. Wille Wimmer, former State Secretary of the Minister of Defense in Germany and former Vice President of the OSE Assembly, thank you so much for talking to us here on RT International.